Man, I thought you said no one was gonna be here. That's that red-headed snowboard kid. Isn't there snow somewhere? <sighs> yeah, there's some freshies on the super jib in Tahoe, bro. <laughs> Come on, I got an idea. Hey, what's, what's up, up guys? Hey. Tomato, how hey, are you? Yeah, how you doing? <laughs>
wanted to try it, and so I just said, go for it. Right off the lift, just took off. And, you know, just loved it. I do remember the first time I saw Sean White. I was at Big Bear at Snow Summit. I was going on the half pipe, and, and this little kid was behind me with this giant helmet on, going way higher than I was. I won't let him do a McTwist until he was 11. You know, and then he nine, he started sneaking it behind my back. I think I started doing contests around seven. As I look back now, it's pretty cool to have your parents, you know, kind of pull you out of school and do all these things for you, you know, and, and they didn't even know where snowboarding was going to take me. I think we gave him a crash course in skating simply because he had to live the life of a pro skater. The guy had never seen a skate video until I invited him to a premiere of one that he was in, <laughs> you know? So that's about how involved in skating he was. He was just, it was just sort of this, this side project hobby for him. And then when he'd go on the Jana Skate Park Tour, we'd just sort of beat him in, so to speak. <laughs> I heard that he was a snowboarder and I heard that he was pretty good and I seen footage somewhere, there's just this little tiny ant flipping around on his snowboard and it was just like, oh, okay, he's gonna get skateboarding right away and he's just, he just goes for it. Oh no, she's not a secret now.